Okay, I want to show you what we came up with for a design for a wooden easel for painting in the Bob Ross style, which takes quite a bit of pressure when you're pushing that brush and uh, moving the paint on the canvas with a larger brush than regular traditional oil painting. So this is my design that we came up with. It's just a, two boards that are uh, pretty much glued together with contact cement for the hinges. So if you open this, but look how flat you get. Nice and flat design. So you can stack quite a bit when you're um, doing a mobile, moving around, uh, moving your class to different places. Okay, so we have one leg here on a uh, glued uh, support, which has three grooves for different angles. And uh, also in here, is just a piece of cloth that's glued on there with contact cement for the hinge and also up here for the uh, wooden bore. So now that it's at the angle, I'll show you that a, a nice paint and take it size, which is an eight by 10, fits on there nicely. And you can show that when you're doing that brush, you have a lot of support there by pushing on that canvas. You can also do portrait style, which I've also added these little screws coming out from the bottom so that you can secure that canvas on there and it doesn't move around on you. Okay, so for different sizes, we come up with kind of a couple of things that we did. And this is a 12 by 16. So you can put that on there and it fits pretty good also. And then doing it portrait style. It can also fits on there pretty good, and you can see that it still has a pretty good support base. Now, if you want to do larger than that, still holding to the small size for travel, which is really nice, which is only about a, a 16 inches or 12 inches. Actually, it's 12 inches. If you put that up there, you'll see that that's about a 14 inch size for height. So what we've come up with is just a, just a regular uh, thin board here that fits in here. So you have a little groove that it'll fit into and you just slide it down into there. And now you have a 16 by 20 size easel. So if you don't have to travel with those, you don't have to. But if you do want to upsize to a, a larger a uh, easel for your larger canvas. You can still do that pressure on there and it's pretty good support. You can also turn it for portrait style and it still um, is pretty good for support. So I'm on a kind of a wobbly table here so it's not as good as it would be but Here's my other design of ESO that my husband came up with this really awesome design. But uh, I've been using it for 15 years now and it's worked really, really well with stability. It's a very strong ESO and it collapses pretty flat and you can travel with those pretty well too. But like I say, if you're just doing a paint and take it size, you don't want a big pile of uh, ESOs. This design is awesome because it lays pretty flat and uh, you can just collapse these down to flat little boards. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool.